again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery, making you look at exactly nothing. Here, here's some colors to look at. I jumped the gun. I know what I want to do, but I don't know how it's going to work, because very seldom do I ever go as far in the direction that I'm thinking about going as I'm about to go. How cryptic of me. Okay, so I've got a 16 by 20 inch canvas behind me. And I'm planning on using it. In the meantime, I'm thinking I'm going to cover my canvas with black and white paint. Or, I don't know. I don't know exactly if it's going to be one or the other. It might be both. So here comes the canvas. Let's hope I left myself out a... I think glasses are in order. And do I have... Yes. I have an OXO omelette turning spatula headed in your direction. It's cold today, it's late today, I don't have much time or any sun left, so I'm kind of jumping the gun about getting into things. There's that. I want a bunch of white paint right down the center of my canvas. And I'd like some of this other stuff out of the way, but I'm afraid I'm going to spill my paint if I try and move it. So pardon me for having a less than organized moment. I happen off camera more often than on. I try. So I really want, like I said, I want a thick layer of white paint to allow it to flow as best it can on this cold day. And I am going to go ahead and I'm going to do what I just did, which is fill the rest of my space with the Prussian blue with the decor pouring medium and spread it on with not just the residual paint on my spatula, I have something stuck to my spatula. I heard it. <laughs> I don't like that. It's good to find the things that are in the paint before they become bumps in tomorrow's artwork. You can get rid of the bubbles with a torch, but uh, you got to pick all your anomalous chunks of stuff out. So yeah, today I am giving in to whatever I want to do as far as prepping a canvas goes to begin. Especially because I love those cells. Ha! Huh. This is not even res remotely what I started thinking about. But that's okay. I have a pan of colors and I will use it. I'm going to keep my gold out there. Try and move some of the stuff out of my way. One of the reasons I started doing this uh, acrylic pouring was because I'm an abstract expressionist and I love the patterns and I just really wanted to learn if I could bend the patterns or utilize the patterns is a better way to put it um, make them work for me with me in union I want some of that decor pouring medium laden Prussian blue without getting rid of all those beautiful cells the finger tool, my favorite, the one attached to the end of my arm. Yeah. So I'm not done playing right now. I think I'm just going to keep playing. And add my other paint after. I'm going to try and remember to use what's on my spatula to go down over the edge. And maybe some of that will blend in well enough. For all intents and purposes, abstract expressionist art on the fly. And where's my purple? I want some of that along with some of this. You watch, I'll throw those other colors in here and I won't be happy. Although, that's a bad thing to say, so I'm not going to say that. Can't take it back? Yes, I can. Pretend you didn't hear me. I'm going to take some of those colors that I just stuffed over there and use
use my spatula right along the edge. Pull it down to the edge of my tile. I've never really just set up, well, I can't say never. I've seldom set up a background like I just did, expecting to pour over it the way I'm about to. Um, I really like all of that, except for I want some white up there. I've got smaller spatulas, the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas, but I really am not minding much using the large spatula. I actually like it a lot. I really want some more gold in there. And I've got some blue. I shouldn't put my caps back on. Now we're going to have a chance in a second to find out what everything what else? What's going to happen? <laughs> I warn you, the cold, cold affects my speech. So, now, I'm going to do just what I just did. Yes, it's very random and very accidental. And I'm tipping my shovel this way and that. And I'm even going to wipe it off on the bottom. I don't know what that's going to do, but it's going to run while everything else does not run, for the most part. So I'm going to pull out an edge catcher and see if I can facilitate that happening a little more. Then I can decide what colors, if any, tip that edge catcher a little bit so it covers the edge. Let's tip it all back the other way. I don't promise not to stick a silicone basting, basting brush in there and I don't promise not to use chain. I just promise you I'm not done yet. I think I want to try the basting brush first. Which is cool because I see a couple of things that weren't covered. And I will get my cells back, so even if they seem to be gone, they're not gone for long. I really kind of want some chain. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm learning as I go. I think I want to get rid of that basting brush into a bucket and have a look at what you can see. I've got plenty of chain here. I just want a shorter piece than the piece I had. I want that thing out of there. I just showed my 18 by 24 inch artwork today and there were some great chain pieces in there. And That's what happens. <laughs> I get inspired to do chain. I'm going to keep wishing that I had taken all the tops off my bottles. I want some dark green. Isn't that strange? That's not usually what I want. But I want it now. And I'm thinking I'm going to add some gold to it again, to the painting in general. That's different have this Bahama Blue, which I kind of think would go well with that minty green. 
Looks like today's theme is a water theme. I don't have any orange in there. And I kind of want some. Yep. I think it's time to clean my chain off. Somewhat, anyway. I'll decide what to do next. I think it has everything to do with yellow. Don't ask me why. That's the impression I'm being given by the, the muse at large. I like the yellow, but I like it enough to want to do some more of it. I think the cold weather has a big effect and I can do things for longer that would usually dry. Most of my paints have metallics in them so even when something gets a little muddy like that it's just like using gray only it's a bit shimmery so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to let that chain relax in my dish and find my, my pearl, hopefully. I do want to just dump the rest of that paint right into uh, painting, but I'm not sure where yet. I like the purple. I definitely like the purple. Got some darker purple right there. I like doing two colors at once. The chain. Of course, I've got so much paint on here right now that I'll be doing more than two colors if I don't wipe it off. So I guess I'm going to try and get myself to do that. Yeah, the two tone. Two tones make me happy. And the wilder the marks, let's just keep doing that. Since I've already got purple on my chain, I'm going to drop most of that into my hand. Come back and use what's everything else that's left. Oh, I like that red dot. This is fun. It's definitely therapeutic. I would recommend it. I think I want some. Uh, I want some gold, though. I'm not sure where I want it. That's the problem. That may not even be the gold I was expecting to use, which is over here and has more mica in it. So let's get rid of that and contemplate on this. Also, shaking it up first. Yes. Much more like what I had in mind. That's not bothering me much yet. <laughs> takes me three days to get the paint off my hand since I can't go in the pool this time of year. We went to dinner the other night and the restaurant owner is a friend of ours and she's like, I couldn't find a sink to wash your hands? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I was kind of in a hurry. So I'm thinking that that orange is a really important element 
and makes all the difference in the world. And I like it with the blue. And that's none of that is bothering me. I think right now I want a torch. So I'm going to take a moment to get some of the paint off my hands and my ball chain in case I want to use it again. Let's have a look at what's going on here. I think the red orange needs to come out. And I could use a skewer or the basting brush, but um, why don't I just keep doing what I'm doing? This might be a good painting to put some dots into. I think if I can get some of this orange where I want it. I might bring it down here and change that up a little bit. I'm going to have to just keep that damp cloth handy. I'm not sure I like that, but that doesn't matter. Because I like to change things up, and I will like it once I get it the way I want it. Just keep wiping that chain off. I've got like no seconds left. <laughs> I got two minutes left if I want to tell you whatever I need to tell you, other than the fact that I think I'll probably be finishing this either not with you or in another section. So I'm going to put most of that chain back in my hand and try and find a loop in the middle. And tell you we've got over 430 videos. If you like what I do, please watch some more. The playlist is in the last 20 seconds of every video. And give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It helps my standing on YouTube. I like that pink and that orange together. I just wish the pink would stay and it never does. So I don't know if I'm having too much fun. <laughs> it's possible. But I think I better come back because I'm not done playing with this at all. At all at all. So whatever I haven't told you, I'll tell you at the end of the next video. And I'll see you in a minute. This is Priscilla out. Bye for now.